What's up, YouTube? I'm back. It is Tuesday, November 1st. New month, new goals, new opportunities. I'm excited. Um, so I wanted to come on and give another update about my cut. This is actually from last Saturday's weigh-in this last Saturday. So that would have been October 30th, um, and it would have been the end of four weeks dieting or in this diet phase or diet cycle. Um, so it was a good week. I lost 0 0.7, which is 0 0.1 less than last week. Um, so that means for the entire month of October, I mean, basically minus two days or whatever, um, the last two days, uh, I lost three pounds total. So, I mean, that's good. It's in the right direction. It is only a small amount and it's about a third of the weight that I gained in Vegas or and or after Vegas for those two weeks of um, not eating badly. Um, I also wanted to share like the significant changes in my measurements or whatever. Um, my bust went down by half of an inch, my hips went down by one full inch, and then my waist went down by a quarter of an inch. Um, so I do take my measurements every time that I weigh. I don't, I do it by the quarter inch, um, so I'm not doing like centimeters or anything, but it can be really reassuring to see the measurements going down as the weight is going down or sometimes when the weight isn't going down as quickly as I want, the measurements just really help. And then usually I don't um, compare like week to week, I more compare, you know, like this week one to week four. Um, so you can actually see the more significant jumps. Um, but I still do record the measurements every week. Um, so I feel pretty good about my progress. I mean, I keep saying in all these videos, it's just such a reminder of how long this process is, how committed you really have to be. Um, it feels like such effort and then such small results and that's part, like part of that is situational for me because I have been um, in a caloric deficit to what my maintenance calories should be for coming up on two years so my metabolism is going to be very slow um, it's going to be you know mostly adapted to these changes that's part of why I implemented carb cycling again I have to be really careful where my fats are at um, since my hormones um, you know they down regulate when you're in a caloric deficit if you didn't know that uh, so I don't want to mess up anything permanently so all of these things I have to be really mindful and I also have to accept the fact that that means slower progress slower results um, just for example, comparison, I remember the very, very first week of my journey when I decided to make this change and I cut out, what were the first changes that I made? I definitely cut out all liquid calories like Coke, juice, et cetera, et cetera, because it's just a fucking waste. And, um, I'm trying to think like what other like tangible major changes I'll do look at my journal for that one. But anyway, uh, the point is, I remember I lost 7.5, I believe, pounds in one fucking week. Like, mm, to get back to those days. Um, but that's great and very encouraging. It was to me, and I know it would be to somebody who's just starting their journey to see that drastic of a jump. Um, and basically, as the weeks go on, as the months go on, if you're in it for a long-term transformation, um, you know, it tapers down. It gets lower and lower. The 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 drops per week get lower and lower. Um, so, like I said, I'm okay with my progress. I know why it's going slower, um, despite eating to my macros, you know, despite uh, working out as hard as I do or whatever. Um, so yeah, but I'm so, I'm pleased three pounds down in a month. So I think that my original goal of the first week of February is actually incredibly tangible and uh, spot on. So looking forward to that. Um, kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my goals for the month of November, um, since it is November 1st. And I always try and set monthly goals. Sometimes I set weekly goals, but really monthly goals. 
Um, it kind of gives me something to keep pushing for for the whole month. And you'll notice that none of these goals have anything to do with weight loss specifically. Um, because at this point, I have my macros calculated. Uh, you know, I know what the calories in are. I know how much I need to exercise. So I just, I trust that. I know if I do that, I will lose weight. So these goals are more for, I mean, I guess to aid in weight loss, but slash personal as well. Uh, the first thing is to up my water intake. I'm always so um, bad about that. I'm always, I feel like at the end of the night, I'm always chugging to get that water in. And then that doesn't do you any good because you really just pee that out. <laughs> like you want to do your um, gallon or gallon and a half or however much according to your body weight uh, throughout the day so that you can just stay hydrated and, and replenished throughout the day, not just all in one sitting and then piss it all out. What's the point of that? So yeah, um, so drink more or up my water intake, drink more water. Uh, I have also on this list to prioritize running. Um, I told myself I'd do a half marathon in this year. Um, I don't think that that's going to happen. I also told myself like at the beginning of September that I was going to start my half marathon training for one in December that I had picked out. Um, but I just slacked on it. I mean, I just, I wasn't enjoying running on the treadmill. This is going to sound like a bunch of excuses, but I really wasn't enjoying running on the treadmill. It just doesn't have the same um, feel to it. And I just, I like lifting so much more that I was really prioritizing that and wanting to reserve my energy for that rather than running rather than cardio. So, I mean, a couple factors, but the bottom line is I didn't start focused training for a half marathon. I do cardio um, almost every time that I work out, but it's like walking on a treadmill for 20 minutes. It's not actually training for a half marathon. Um, so I want to reprioritize running because now that the weather's finally starting to cool down, if you're from Southern California, you know what I'm talking about, finally starting to cool down. Um, I think we had a 90 degree day like two days ago, so I guess I shouldn't uh, count my chickens before they're hatched. But Finally starting to cool down, so I will be able to go on some more runs and um, just enjoy that because once I do get out there and I start running, um, I went running on Sunday instead of the gym, um, I'm just reminded about how good it is for my soul. I mean, yeah, it's a great calorie burn. Yeah, I really like to sweat. Yeah, I like to challenge myself and go up the hills and, you know, this and that, but um, really just the sights, the views, the, the like, fresh air just it's really just good for the soul um so yeah so I really want to reprioritize running um the next thing on my list is to research various stretching and mobility at exercises um I foam roll and stretch after uh lifting at, in the gym every single day um uh, because larger range of motion actually equals better gains. So the more flexible you are, the larger the range of motion, the more you are stretching and tearing and putting all the pressure on your muscles, the bigger they will grow, the faster they will grow. So stretching is actually a form of muscle recovery, muscle support, and muscle building. So I foam roll and stretch every day at the gym, but I mean, I kind of do the same you know, go-to moves, the same exercises, whatever. So one of my goals this month is to just find some new stuff and switch it up um, and continue with the daily stretching because it's really, it really helps me out. It, it, I can tell a difference if I forget or if I skip it or whatever, um, which doesn't happen often because I just, I get so sore if I don't. So stretching. Um, and then I have a goal of hitting a PR on squats this month. I want to get up to 195. Right now, my current PR on squats is two sets of, no, two sets of two at 175 um, for barbell back squat is what I'm talking about. So I really want to get up to 195. That's one of my goals for November. And then on um, deads, I want to hit the two plate club. I'm so close. I'm 10, 10 pounds away. Hang on, hang on. Yes. Math, Karen. Yes, I'm 10 pounds away um, as of this morning, actually. 
So, I mean, I've hit 275 um, Smith Machine debts, but that doesn't really count. So, I have a goal of hitting that second plate for my uh, sumo debts. And then the last goal on my list is to turn 31 graciously. That's always one of my goals in November to turn whatever age graciously. And what I mean by that is to not get freaked out, um, to not become a drunken, crazy mess, to not, um, I don't know, to just like keep things in perspective and to just roll with it. It's just one more year. So on next Monday, November 7th, I will be turning 31. And it's weird to say that out loud because when I think about myself, I think that I'm 23. I mean, I'm not, obviously, and I haven't been for quite some time, but that's just kind of like my auto, like when people say, how old are you? The first thing that pops into my head is 23. I don't really know why. That wasn't a particularly great age for me. So yeah, but uh, 23, hoping to keep that mentality going. So yeah, so I'll actually be turning 31 and um, feeling good about it. I don't feel, you know, freaked out. I don't even really, like I said, feel 30, 31. So it's all good. I just want to keep going, keep going with this journey. Um, so I did have an idea for a video that I wanted to do at this video is already getting a little bit long, so I don't think I'll attach it onto this one, but would you guys be interested in hearing some tips on how to stop yourself from overeating at the end of the night? I mean, like, you've already, you've been on point that day. You've tracked, you've, you know, you've reached, you've hit all your macros, or you've hit your calorie goal, or you've hit your, you've spent all your Weight Watchers points, or whatever it is, like, you've eaten into your calorie goal <laughs> for that day, um, but it's early-ish, and now you don't know what to do with yourself besides eat. That's what I'm talking about, like tips on how to avoid further eating. I'm not trying to talk about like tips on how to stop eating. That would be unhealthy and crazy, and let's not do that. Um, so anyway, so yeah, tips on how to end your night positively without a, do that. You get my point. You're smart. You get this. I'm going to stop talking now. Anyway, so that's how it's going on my cut. Um, that's my goals for November. If you have any goals that you'd like to share, please comment them down below. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Actually, give this video a like if you would like to see the macro, uh, the calorie doneness, the overeating thing that I was talking about two seconds ago. Like this video if you'd like to see that and have me talk about it actually more eloquently than what what is wrong with me just just why just what anyway make sure to follow me on instagram if you're not already and also my fitness pal i'll have both of them in the description box down below and if you haven't check out my coaching website i am taking on clients um, if you have any questions regarding anything that's on the website, there is a form to shoot me an email and I can answer whatever you'd like to know. Um, if you live in my area in Southern California, I'm also taking on in-person clients as well. Um, so that's it. All right. I hope you have a good one. Catch you later.